right, so I'm going to explain Venn diagrams and some set notation. So a Venn diagram has two circles that overlap each other. We'll call them set A and set B. Around both of those circles, we'll draw a big rectangle. And why do we need a rectangle, you might ask? Well, it will help us separate what's inside and outside of both of the sets. For example, let's say set A is all the even numbers, and set B is all of the numbers divisible by 3. Now we can sort all the numbers in the right place. But what about 6? It's even and divisible by 3. What do we do now? Well, it would go in between both circles because the number 6 fits both of the rules. Numbers that don't fit in either rule, like prime numbers as such as 7 and 11, will go outside the circles. So essentially, we're just sorting numbers to categories. Now here's where set notation comes in. It's a quick way to write down what is inside of each um, set or like part of the diagram. So an intersection in a Venn diagram is the numbers in both sets. As you can see, six, six and 12. An intersection can be written as this. And a union is everything in either circle, except for the numbers outside of the circles. It can also be written as this. Numbers such as 1, 5, 7, 11 will not fit in that category. And that's the basics of Venn diagrams and set notation. Subscribe.